In the 19th century, a ship's surgeon was kept busy not only with the general health and well-being of passengers and crew, but also with food inspections and rationing, adjudicating grievances and burying the dead. This 1830 surgeon's case belonged to Dr. John Coverdale, surgeon on board the Perthshire, bound for the convict colony of Australia. Born in India in 1814, Coverdale was sent to Scotland, where he obtained a medical degree that allowed him to secure the post. Despite the best intentions of many surgeons, the unsanitary conditions on board passenger ships, along with inadequate medical knowledge, meant that the death rate among the very young and the very old on some ships was quite high. Not so for the passengers and crew on the Perthshire. Coverdale was an experienced ship surgeon. The vessel was relatively uncrowded, and the voyage out was quick and uneventful. No deaths were reported. The fine array of instruments presented here include amputation knives and saws, a trephine for drilling into patient skulls, levers, dental probes and gum lancets, a tooth key for extracting teeth, catheters for males and females, trocars and cannulas used to relieve internal pressure by draining fluids or gases from the body, various sized fleams for bloodletting and metacarpal or finger sores.